Hello, welcome to another US GeoGuessr video. I am going to be taking you through five rounds again on America's Top 200 map. Thanks, GeoGamer, for this map. I enjoyed playing it the first time around. I played it moving and I ended up scoring 24,974. It was a very good round for me, uh, good seed for me, rather. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get uh, uh, that high of a score, no moving, but I'm going to challenge myself. Uh, I played six minute rounds the last time, and I just wanted to give myself a little bit more no moving. Maybe I'll have a little bit more time to share some knowledge and strategy with you. So where are we first in America's top 200? No moving. We are at Purcell Street and South Acme Road, we have blue street signs. And so the very first thing I thought was going to be San Antonio. Uh, and then we just get this sign that says San Antonio, Texas. We even get a zip code. So thank you, Iglesia Cristiana del Dios Altissimo uh, for that sign. But uh, if I was playing NMPZ, I would have still been able to get San Antonio. So we are at Purcell and South Acme Road. It really seems like I have been in San Antonio a lot. I know it's a very big city, so it is not surprising to get dropped there a lot, but I just really seem to be running hot on San Antonio. I really do. I'm just like always there. So I recognize those blue street signs, and it looks like we are at 1060 south and difficult to see in the other direction yeah so we're looking south looks like we're looking south towards an interstate so i am thinking that we're probably closer to downtown than i originally thought we're really going just kind of bang on dead south though so south frio street where is Acme, Acme. We're in a very industrial looking area of San Antonio, that's for sure. Very industrial looking. Certainly looks like we are looking towards uh, East West Freeway, does it not? So I'm having some difficulty locating Acme here. I really wish I had more knowledge of San Antonio. I've never been there. Texas to me a lot of times is pretty difficult, I'm not going to lie. But with this, we're going north. Okay. So 1119, 1060 north. No, so we'd have to be south. Yeah, so we'd have to be south, but we're only like 1000 south. Only 1,000 south, so I have to think that everything's radiating out here from downtown. What is this road right there? Proband, Purcell, and Acme. Not a great way to start the round, the seed. Not a great way to start the video. Having a great deal of trouble locating Purcell and Acme. I know we're in, I know we are in San Antonio though. At only about 1,000 south, I mean I suppose it could certainly be like significantly east or west, but we'd have to be in this band here. We really would be. I mean we certainly could be much farther out, that's for sure, but we'd have to be somewhere that still maintains that south designation on the road. So looks like we're probably east sign. This might be my last round in Charlotte moving. I mean, I might know exactly what city we're in. It's just very, very difficult to find just where we are. I mean, with this level of industrialness i mean i'm gonna trust i'm gonna trust and say that we're like at 1000 south 
So that would put us, right? Maybe just like right here. Purcell Street. I have not seen Purcell. Not seen South Acme Road. At least no moving. I am going to get the right city. But I think it's important to do okay on region guessing. See, there's no south. There's no south streets out there. We're still in San Antonio. Again, San Antonio. Man, such a big place. There's Acme. Wow, why did it take me so long to find Acme? So way on the west side, if we're at 1,000 south, that means we're probably approaching that Clito Rodriguez freeway, Purcell. Certainly didn't give myself much time, did I? Uh, looks like we're several blocks north of that Clito Rodriguez. There's Purcell and Acme. Looks like we're just right there on the road. Finally found it. Wow, it took me a long time, but we're in San Antonio on the west side, South Acme Road. I just want to look at something we line that up with downtown yeah that would look about right so that's about where i was looking out on the east side but just didn't know we were on the west side although i kind of redeemed myself started um very shakily and then finished with a 5k all right bell court no front plates on any of these cars uh kind of grayish Maybe a little green on the license plate there, although I think it's maybe just wishful thinking because I'm I'm pretty sure we're in Nashville, so I just maybe wanted to see a green. Ah, there's a Florida plate. There's a Florida plate. Don't fool me, Florida plate. Vanderbilt University Medical Center, 2120 Belcourt, Vanderbilt. Okay, so yeah, Vanderbilt University is in Nashville. Look at this. We get like a Jersey plate. We get a Florida plate. What is... Everybody's trying to confuse me here. Everybody's trying to confuse me. Looks like we're in a cool little like... Um, almost reminds me of like Rainy Street in Austin. It's like a cool little old neighborhood that they turned into a bar district, kind of. So here's Vanderbilt. Where is Belcourt? Belcourt's going to be going east-west. So where is that going to put us? Could we be somewhere near Vanderbilt? I believe we are. There's Belcourt. But where? Where are we? Belcourt doesn't go very far. Really doesn't. So there's just like two blocks of Belcourt. There's a longer, there's a longer stretch of Belcourt. There's an even longer. Okay, so this is, yeah, there's a Moxie, there's Biscuit Love, Belcourt Village, Belcourt Village. And then what is this AB place? AB. Difficult to read. Looks like we're definitely we're looking east towards some taller buildings. Belmont University, the cookery. How far does Belcourt go through? It's really my question. Certainly looks like we're in a pretty, like, hipster part of Nashville. A lot of Nashville looks like this. It looks pretty new. Belcourt. Here's Belcourt. Are we here, possibly? 1810 Belcourt is right there. Okay, so we were at 2120 Belcourt, so this is going to help. We're looking north toward Vanderbilt Home Care, so this is 1810 Belcourt. I would assume we're going to increase, going out this way, Music City Bread Company, Aladdin's Hookah Lounge. Is that that AB place? No, nah, I think we got to be... On the other side here, yeah, A.B. Hillsboro Village. Don't, don't know about that, but that's what we're looking at. Vanderbilt University Child Care Center. Crap. Child Care Center. That's not the home care. 
McDougal's chicken fingers. Do we get McDougal's chicken fingers? The problem is a lot of these places change, right? Especially in places like Nashville. We might be... There's 24th, so we can't be as far as 24th. There's 21st. So at 21, 20, we can't be very deep here. Dumpling house. Dumpling house, sushi, meat, noodles to the south. Is any of that there? Huh? Okay, so we're looking east towards the AB. Thanks, AB. You're still there. I don't know what you are, but you're still there. There's the Belcourt parking lot. Okay, cool. Now, Vanderbilt Home Care, that has to be this building. It just has to be. Parking lot in front, little, like, jog there. Yeah, I think so. Because then we have these three structures. Dumpling House, Sushi 88. Oh, there's Sushi 88. Okay, so it looks like this is Dumpling House. And so this is this little, like, McDougal's building right there that I'm looking right at. And then, yeah. So nothing that was on Google Street View is really still on the map in South Nashville. And I'm not, I'm not really surprised. Okay, so how did I get there? The name Belcourt just made me think Nashville. The Vanderbilt was a huge giveaway. Doesn't look like we're going to get any Nashville area codes, but... Got some Tennessee license plates, although we got some confusing other states thrown in there. So Nashville is a really fast-growing city. Doesn't surprise me there's other plates. But yeah, we're in South Nashville. Okay, cool. So I like to start with a 10K. Great. Okay, well, it looks like this round's going to be more challenging. This is going to be very suburban here. Am I going to get lucky enough to get something just straight off of this bin? I think, I think, that is an 847 area code. I believe that is an 847. I think I am looking at a Chicago plate in front of me. I'm sorry, an Illinois plate. Um, Illinois plates, for some reason, are difficult for me, are difficult. Mancini's, Mancini's. Jeep. Again, I'm thinking that's your standard Lincoln, Illinois plate. Would that be plausible given this architecture, given this landscape? Yeah, the architecture, I might not think. Well, now nah, this is very Chicago, Milwaukee suburban architecture. It really is. Um, yeah, the, the, I mean, there's nothing steering me away from northern Chicago suburbs, because I think I just got an 847 off of that waste bin. Is there anything else I can get off of that waste bin? TSC. It's hard, but I swear, I swear that's an 847. I swear it's an 847. I may have to get a much deeper look at that bin, because no moving, I think that's all we're going to get. We're in the middle of a block. We're going dead north-south, okay? So that would lend itself to a Chicago suburban grid system. Sullivan, what is this sticker here? What does that sticker say? It's like an Ivy League kind of college seal, maybe a collegiate school. Okay, I'm going to just pause for a sec. That made me think of Harvard University. And, I mean, there's just no way this is New England. I, this is Chicago. These are Illinois plates. A little bit shaky on those Lincoln plates, but I get two pretty good looks at them. And I think that's good enough. This very suburban vibe. These are, I would guess, 70s houses, late 60s, early 70s, maybe a little bit earlier. Um, I live in the suburbs of Columbus, Ohio. 
similar era, I think, of houses. Everything's pretty deciduous. With that 847, I, I, I just... It's all I'm going to get, but I think I'm going to go northern Chicago suburbs. Because that's where that area code is taking me. Now, question is, how far up? How far up are we? We're going bang north-south. Bang north-south. So that could be almost anywhere, but I'm guessing for 847, we're going to be like primarily in this area. Primarily in this area. I do not think we're in Skokie. Doesn't really look like Skokie. I mean, I don't get any street signs, but... I don't think this is Skokie. I don't think it's really like Evanston, too. I would be tempted to go a little bit farther up. Maybe Wilmette? Would that be a good send? Oh, if um, anybody with any expertise in the Chicago area, Chicago suburb, Chicago land, if Chicago geographer watches this, he might be laughing at me. I hope not. Now we do get... Ah, uh, what looks like way off in the distance. A kind of green-looking Chicago-y sign. Is there any possibility we're still in the city with an 847? I wouldn't think so. Wouldn't think so. Would think that would be a 773. See how many just dead north-south roads we have? Okay, let me think. Okay, I just got to think a little socioeconomically. What do I know about Chicago land? These would be expensive houses, but they're kind of little bungalow-like houses. So I don't think we're in, like, a super wealthy suburb of Chicago. So I think I'm going to move away from the lake. I think anywhere from, like, Lake Bluff, Lake Forest... Down through Highland Park, Glencoe, Winnetka, um, probably even into Wilmette and Evanston, I think would look more affluent than this. I think the houses would be bigger. There would just be more money. So I think we're going to go west. How far west do I want to go? Do I want to go as west as like Palatine? I don't think so. Arlington Heights, Prospect Heights. I mean, Chicago land is so vast, but at some point we're going to run out of 847 area code and we're going to run into something else. So I'm not going to go any... I don't think I'm going to go west of the Tri-State. I was just about ready to say, I don't think I'm going to go west of this road over here, like the 29355. I know that has a name that's escaping me right now. It's sort of like the outer, outer belt. I don't think I'm going to go west of the Tri-State. I think I'm going to go somewhere like Glenview, Techni, Northbrook. You know, this Techni may not be a bad sound. It said TCH. It said TCH, I think. I mean, it's as good a send as any. Let's maybe go up here. Illinois Road. Okay. So we were a little bit farther west. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. So inside 355. So that was Mount Prospect as Plains. Okay, well, I don't feel bad about a Northbrook guess there. Again, um, I might have to research this a little bit, but Northbrook might have been a little bit, like, richer, and the houses might have been a little nicer. Maybe I should have hedged west of the Tri-State, but I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about that. No moving, no street signs, no nothing. Uh, northern Chicago land suburbs. Let's see where round four takes us. Somewhere very different. Very fat palms. Low palm trees. Palm trees that are just staring at me. Wow, palms everywhere. Palms everywhere. What are we looking at license plate wise? Certainly Florida. It's not surprising. 
Well, I don't like region guessing Florida. I really don't. It's, uh, this is not. This is gonna be hard, especially because like so most of so much of this view is just kind of like um, taken up by these by these cartoonish palm trees that are just dominating the landscape. Concrete road. Low concretey building. I tell you, with this kind of architecture, low concrete buildings, I'm tempted to send somewhere in the Tampa Bay area. I really am. I think it's as good a guess as any. We're going to get very, very few clues here. So unfortunately, my Florida region guessing is not as strong as it could be, but I do think it is improving. I think it is improving. If we're somewhere in Tampa, I feel like with these trees, maybe closer to the coast, maybe somewhere like over here, uh, the road is going northeast, southwest. So a lot of roads in the Tampa Bay area are going just straight on north-south. But this one, unfortunately, going northeast, southwest. So could we be like here, Bel Air, Florida? Yes, yes we could. That's a bad hedge though, isn't it? Isn't it a bad hedge? Because if we're not in the Tampa Bay area, we have nothing but water to the west. We have nothing but water to the west. Should I go maybe a little bit more inland, somewhere like Lakeland? We would have, I believe, similar architecture. What about Plant City? What about Plant City? I think Plant City is a good hedge. Maybe on a road, just going generally northeast, southwest. Maybe even just a road like that. Plant City. Not really sure what Plant City looks like, but this gets me thinking little bit interior it looks a little I don't know not affluent I'm thinking Tampa Bay but I also think it could be somewhere like in through here spring training land baseball spring training land no I don't know Plain City Florida all right we were way farther down the coast way farther down interesting like I would not have thought that hmm that kind of architecture, I mean, totally makes sense for Lauderdale. Just, I, I mean, I, can we count that as Southern Florida? I don't know. Maybe I should have gone Miami. Don't feel great about that one. Certainly my worst guess so far. But we just didn't get anything. We really had nothing. You get that no moving, unfortunately. Oh dear, what's that area code? What is that area code? Help me. Help me, Rhonda, with that area code. Ah, I don't think this is going to be good. We get, like, no plates. We get a helpful police or a post office thing there, but... Man, what does that say? Norseman, 265, 216? Swear it says something 16. Are we in Cleveland? Certainly doesn't look like we're not in Cleveland, huh? Um, hmm. Definite low income housing stock. If we were in Cleveland, I would not expect those street signs. I would expect the street signs to be blue. Mix of deciduous trees and some coniferous. I mean, I could really buy that this is Ohio. I really could. I wish I could get an area code. Five, one, something. Just really don't know. This is so difficult. It's so difficult. Midwest. I think Midwest. Not seeing any of those southern loblolly pines. 
We are seeing some low derelict. I'm sorry for no. I probably shouldn't call it derelict. I mean, this is some low income housing stock. We are in a we're in a we're in a city like Akron, Toledo. But does that make sense? Green top, green top, green top on that fire hydrant. front plate on that truck way up ahead wait a second worstman okay i may be out to lunch here but i feel like this is the only good clue that we're going to get we have this gold and green fire hydrant gold and green is this Green Bay, Wisconsin? I tell you, uh, could these could this be Wisconsin housing stock? Would any of Green Bay look like this? Would any of Green Bay look like this? What direction are the roads going? West, northwest, west, northwest. Look at this, look at Green Bay, look at Green Bay. Maybe I'm getting too excited. But see how Green Bay's kind of slanted? We could very easily be down here by Lambeau Field. I have not been to Green Bay in a really long time, but wow, could we be down there? We'd be like about halfway up the block, not about halfway, Langlade Avenue. I know Langlade's a county in Wisconsin, but farther north. I tell you, this is as good a send as any. I think we're in the Midwest. Could that fire hydrant be representing the Green Bay Packers? Could it be repping the Packers? Are we in Wisconsin? Okay, well, we are in Des Moines. Upper Midwest. Doesn't doesn't really strike me as all that terrible. Des Moines, I mean Iowa and Wisconsin certainly would not be that far off. So how did I do? Okay, well at least I broke twenty thousand. I don't feel that terrible about the score no moving. It gives me something to improve on, and it gives me an excuse to play this map again. I think I can improve on this score no moving. As a matter of fact, I'm sure I can improve on it. So 20,852. I hope that they gave you some tips, some hints, maybe some anti-hints. Uh, so yeah, don't, if you see Green Bay Packers fire hydrants, uh, maybe go South Des Moines. And then, yeah, also really failed pretty badly on the Florida region guessing. But my first three rounds were good. Didn't really mind those. Uh, San Antonio, been there a lot. Nashville, those were my two easiest rounds. Then North Chicago suburbs, and then it just started getting worse after that. Uh, not Green Bay in the fifth round. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.